working man is sentenced to more than 100 years behind bars for his part in a business holdup and shootings that the judge termed an act of pure meanness. 21 Alive's Jeff Newmeyer talked with one of the two shooting victims who had begged for mercy but came within inches of being murdered in cold blood. Uh, he asked me and Ron to get on my knees and he shot us. You can see that right there. That's where the bullet came out. He shot me right here. It's an event John Pishvai will never forget, though he almost never lived to tell about it. March of 2001, two crooks, one of them Joshua Hawkins, pulled guns on Pishvai and 65-year-old Ronald Hotard at the Coliseum Imports car lot, forced them into a back office, made them strip off their clothes, and ordered them to the floor. Pishvai says he pleaded with the gunman to set Hotard free. He's a 65-plus old man. He's a senior, you know. I said, please, there's a Money, there's a wallet, there's the keys, just take a car, go. But he had to shoot us. I don't know why, to this day, but he had to. Pishvai was shot in the neck, Hotard in the chest, both left to die, but they lived. Hawkins was eventually arrested and convicted of eight felony charges, including two attempted murder counts. In court, he apologized to the victims and their families for a bad decision, said, quote, things were going wrong for me at the time. He told the judge, I'd just like another chance. But Fran Gull said, you asked for mercy, but you gave no mercy. Moments later, handing down a sentence of 122 years. Pishvai feels relief. You can't apologize if you trip somebody, oh, I'm sorry, you know, or, you know, but not for shooting somebody in the head, no. The identity of the second suspect in this crime is not known, at least not to police. Hawkins told detectives he'd be willing to give up the name but it would come at a price. In exchange for his cooperation, Hawkins wanted a cap of seven years on his own penalty. Steve Godfrey is a deputy prosecutor. That's absolutely ridiculous. There's no way we were going to give him any sort of deal like that at all to name us, name the other person in this case. Assuming the sentence is not reduced, even with good time jail credit, Hawkins would be in his 80s before earning release from prison. Jeff Newmeyer, 21 Alive News. New details are now known about a different Fort Wayne murder case that involved an arrest late last week. A charge of murder was read today to 24-year-old Cameron Galbraith. Police say in October 2001, Galbraith hit Maurice Souls with three blasts from a shotgun. According to detectives in court documents, Galbraith became angry at Souls because Souls used a gun to make a pass at one of Galbraith's male friends. The court records say two weeks later, Souls was gunned down down by Galbraith when Souls answered a knock at his apartment door. Police say they found the disassembled murder weapon in the St. Joseph River, where a witness told police it had been discarded. Trial dates have been set for the five suspects connected to the abduction and brutal murder of Sherry Hartman. 21-year-old Ronrico Hatch, who was accused of being the shooter in Hartman's murder, is set to stand trial August 4th of next year. The Allen County prosecutor had indicated he will seek the death penalty if Hatch is convicted. The body of Hartman was discovered on August 20th after she was abducted from her Sinclair Street home the night before. She had been shot in the head and her body burned and left in a cornfield off Tupont Road. Trial dates for the other suspects in the case. Rianne Kelly on May 5th, Chris Johnston June 3rd, Christopher Hovis June 17th, and Brett Marks June 17th. Bringing a new business to uh, the uh, Fort Wayne International Airport is helping the facility position itself as a region. Jet Maintenance Center. That new business will create 18 jobs with the potential for more. 21 Alive's Corinne Rose is at Fort Wayne International Airport.